Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so the outstanding boxer getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And I know in his last fight, he got a little bit sensitive because we talked so much about his hands. He's a layered mixed martial artist, but certainly boxing has been his foremost skill, at least thus far in the UFC. What's his bread and butter? When he's doing his best work, it's behind the hands. It's behind the setups. And we as broadcasters have seen enough of the sport at the highest level and boxing to know that that is the path that he is showing. That is the path that he has chosen. His footwork, his speed, his feints, his setups, they are all boxing centric. So we call him a boxer, and guess what? Take pride in that. You're one of the best in the UFC at using that skill. His jab is great, but he has told us this week he believes that the knockout's gonna come with that patented left hook. We'll find out here in a matter of moments. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Atomic Alonzo Manapil! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, Anthony Lionheart Smith! And there's Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. Well, much better to come here in the summer than the winter, but it is great to be inside United Center here in Chicago, Illinois, where they have long supported the UFC. Yes, for a long time, Chicago has come out when the UFC comes to town. It is a beautiful city, and the fans are always rowdy. It's gonna get loud here tonight because championship will be won. Smith's strike attempt there is blocked. Massive knee to the body. His misses are entertaining. Looking to land the right just out of range. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth, this is a full-on brawl. Piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. He's got some hands, man. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. He threw that one with all of his power. Oh, man. 
his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. We cross the midpoint in round one. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you got to be careful. Back to the jab now. Nice entry there, and able to finish. Man, he has a great double leg. My oh, goodness, he has a, a great double leg. In the half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Nice shots landing from the top position. Ninety seconds to go in the opening round. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. Oh, he connects there. Under a minute to go. Smith's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Head kick blocked. Oh! And back to his feet. Boom! Big jab. Fighter lands a jab. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He oh! And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Hook to the head there by Lion Hartsmith. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of this opponent. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Oh, oh. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, perfect head kick there. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide. Had some power there. Oh, big knee! This is big. That's big. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. 
Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Good job blocking that shot. Smith's eye appears to be closing up by the center. Oh, huge right hand! Smith's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Leg kick checked by Lion Hartsmith. Looking for that left hand, not there. It's work. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Smith's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is already damaged most. Oh! All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. You need to take down. Very fast jab lands for him. Just misses with the jab there. While well, the striking clinic continues, and... He's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axis. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Just out of range with the big right hand. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best clipper fighters in the UFC. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Seconds winding down in round two. Right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. 
Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to receive that check. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Smith's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Back and forth we go. Outside leg kick. Oh! He's looking to land the right just out of range. Not there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. Oh! Oh! oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? There. Oh, nice low kick. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. Oh, he oh, it on. Yeah, bro. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways, the blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Oh, that doctor's tough. He's seen a lot of blood in the ER. This fight's gonna continue, at least for now. Let's go. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back underway. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on his shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they're afraid. They start fooling. And sometimes guy's eye is hanging off the side uh -huh. of his head. Smith's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. It's a pretty fast jab. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him here. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning. Under two minutes to go in round three. Oh, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on this play. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Oh, this one could be over soon. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it.
All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of the third round. Declared the winner by TKO, Anthony Lionheart Smith. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends. As long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.